So guys, this is really interesting for a couple of reasons. So this video was recommended to me today by YouTube. It just randomly turned up as a recommended video. And it's not interesting only because of the subject matter being discussed in this video, which I will get into soon, but because I'm not the only one that this video has just been recommended to in the last week. In fact, if you go and have a look at some of the comments here, we have this one here from six days ago, who's here in 2024 after this was recommended in your feed. 3,700 people like the comment and this randomly popped in my feed today. Anyone else? This was seven days ago. She made this comment and nearly two and a half thousand people have liked her comment. So why is YouTube suddenly recommending this video that was uploaded in 2016 about ancient bloodlines? Well, that's because they want us to see this information. And this information is very accurate because this woman here is confirming everything that I have been warning about for over the last decade. She's warning about the Jesuits and how they are behind everything. She is warning about how they are trying to destroy the world. They are purposely poisoning our planet and destroying our planet and how they want to destroy us too, how they want to basically destroy humanity. Now, what's interesting is that this psycho, and look at her psycho eyes, I have no doubt that this woman is under some kind of mind control, MK Ultra, you know, brainwashing because she's got those eyes they all have those eyes but the fact that she is actually relaying all of this information but then claims she doesn't know why they're doing all this is just more confirmation that she is part of the script she's a controlled opposition shill and she's playing her part because there is just literally no way that she could have so much information and have done so much research. I mean, this woman has done so much research into these bloodlines. She says it all goes back to the Iranian bloodlines. So I'm taking it she means Persian bloodlines and that it's the Jesuits that are basically working from the shadows, but that they are all part of the Iranian bloodlines. But she can't actually understand or identify that we live in a cycle. We live in a great year cycle when every single, every single culture, every single mythology from all of the different cultures talks about this cycle and she can't investigate that she doesn't know about that she's like missing the elephant in the room of why they're acting like psychopaths because they're on a time limit she doesn't know that so she basically confirms the jesuits she basically confirms that they are trying to destroy the planet they're trying to poison us irradiate us um you know basically she relays that they're trying to, you know, poison everything, including us, uh, that they want to destroy us too. So I've been warning about that for over a decade, guys, because I have always told you that they want to destroy what they will never inherit because they know the truth and they know that their fate is total annihilation at the end of the great year they are going to be burned like the tars they are they are tars and they are nobodies and they won't even be remembered they 
are not important or significant. They only are important and significant in their own minds because they have created a reality right now in the system that they have constructed in which they do have power. But in actual fact, it is just an illusion because they really aren't anybody important or special. They're not any more special than any other mortal human being. The only special souls, the only important souls are the divine souls who they hate and why they are doing all of this. Because really, by attacking the planet and attacking humanity, they're attacking God's children and attacking God. And this is what I've been trying to tell everybody for over a decade. So it's very interesting what she says. She is definitely a controlled opposition shill. She says all the right cliche words. She talks about harp. She talks about the new world order. But more importantly, she is revealing that it all goes back to the Jesuits and that they are trying to destroy everything and that they are trying to destroy us and are going to destroy us and that they are very evil. Now, what I find interesting is that she actually uploaded this interview. Well, Professor Hamamoto uploaded this interview in 2016. So this is when the interview was actually done and she's warning about food shortages. This was prior to them destroying and continually chipping away at the supply chain. This was prior to COVID. So we know now that's what they're doing. They're slowly chipping away at the supply chain. And she's warning that part of their plan is food shortages. So there is no doubt in my mind that we are very close to them playing out this part of the script because they are now recommending this information to so many different people. Thousands and thousands of people in the last week have been recommended this video because they want us to know who they are. It's time. So I am just quite pleased in the way that everything that I have been warning about is being confirmed by this woman and that all of my research was actually correct and it is actually all roads lead to Rome and the Jesuits are behind everything. And, you know, talking about this supply chain, the bridge that just went down, that's just another chip in the supply chain. And now there's information coming out about how the bridge that was just collapsed was the same bridge that was featured in leave the world behind which was produced by the obamas it's like they're putting it in our fucking faces right now so blatantly and this is because when this all plays out and they bring in their last part of the script which is going to be featuring us the west and people say but why how could this happen it was like well you were just so fucking blind you couldn't see what was in front of your face. Actually, if you remember, there is a scene in Leave the World Behind when the conspiracy theorist um, played by Kevin Bacon, he basically is the one that's fully set up and ready for everything that's playing out. And they're like, well, how did you know that this was all going to happen? Like when they went to him for help, and he said, how could you not see it? How could you not see everything that was actually unfolding? 
All of the signs were right there. And that's what they're doing now. So that when it actually plays out, nobody can say, well, we didn't know that this was coming. Because like, yeah, there were pl plenty of signs. There was plenty of information. You were just too caught up in your insignificant life and all of the distractions to take notice because you're all distracted by bullshit that means nothing. Social media influencers, reality TV, you know, the latest trends. Everyone caught up in bullshit when all of this is actually right in our faces. What they have planned for us is right in our faces. So I would definitely recommend you guys watch this. As I said, she's just confirming what I've pretty much been trying to tell everybody for over a decade. I just don't have a fancy degree hanging on my wall. And so I'm just a quiet little voice in the corner of the internet. And that is probably always going to be the case because nobody really wants the truth. But that's okay. I'm just sharing my research because I feel I have a responsibility to share with others what I've discovered. And partly that is so that when it actually does unfold and I am seeing all of this horror around me and people suffering that I know in myself that I did my fucking best to try and warn as many people as I could. Now, just before I go, I did try and do a little bit of research into this woman and this Professor Hamamoto. Now, he was clearly guiding her in places in this interview. You can see where she obviously has to put out a certain amount of information and certain information. And he was actually guiding her when she was like, not putting out all of the information. And then she was like, yes, yes, that's right. You know, like, so... He's definitely lower level minion. There is information around him available. He's got his own Wikipedia page. He's a little bit of a weirdo. Uh, he was a professor for almost 23 years at the University of California. He does do quite a few live streams, but just, you know, the same fodder of, oh, they're all just doing occult ritualistic stuff and they're all MK Ultra, and, you know, we know this, okay? And they want us to know this. That's why they use their minions to put this information out. It's called controlled opposition. That's what he is and that's what she is. But I think she's a little bit more lower level minion than he was because I can't find any information about this woman. Now, she did do another interview in 2014. So what, three years prior to this one she did with this guy. And it's about her being a whistleblower because this is her claim to fame is that she was a whistleblower and she was, uh, you know, revealing information about depleted uranium and she was a nuclear um, academic and she worked in the nuclear department and she found out all this information and anyway so that's really all I can find about her um, other than this interview with this guy here it's almost like she's been wiped from the internet because she's got no Wikipedia page about her. I can't find any other information about her. All I found was one article that came up with a woman with, you know, that had a same name as her, right? So whether it's her or not, I don't know, but it's this article from SF Gate and it's about a woman that's about her age, I mean, you know, 78, this was done seven years ago, so she would have been 70 around then, yeah. She's gone missing. She's gone missing, guys. 25th of February, just before this video starts doing the rounds again, she's gone missing. So I don't know if it's her or not, but it is um, San Francisco and he is a professor in California, so I don't know. But anyway, guys, 
I will post everything underneath the video and I would suggest you guys check it out for yourself. As always, peace out.